Now beware of all hunters stalking for silly wabbits. And let's get on with some Looney Tunes cartoons. All right, Bugs Bunny. Let's see what you got in store for us. Well, Doc, looks like you've got ninjas in the house. In a large city like Metropolis, Halloween night has arrived once again. And that everyone was excited to campus from house to house to be given their favorite sugary sweets inside their trick-or-treat bags. However, when it comes to a variety of people dressed in colorful costumes, a new group of trick-or-treaters were on their way without warning and somehow lives in the Hall of Justice. Yes, sir. No one knows who these mysterious trick-or-treaters are. It could be you. It could be me. Actually, it just so happens to be... The DC Superhero Girls? Wait, is that what we're going for? Okay, well, on with the show. Wow, what a night. Am I right, my sisters? I mean, I've never had this much goodness back at Paradise Island. And if I dare see one more of it, I'll be sure to go crazy. I know. Generally, it was a very good idea to switch costumes for the evening. Oh, you know it, Karen. Honestly, would you believe that all of this trick-or-treating was so worth it? To the point where I started to find some sour frittles in my basket? Wow, that is so cool, Barbara. All I got was Boreos and Cream Betweens. You know, this reminds me. Did you know that Hallow's Eve can also be claimed as UNICEF Day? You know, where you put some reflective safety tape on your costume so that the drivers and their vehicles can see you? Wow, really, Jessica? I didn't know that. Honestly, if we would have gone out of our way to make this kind of holiday any more marketable, then you'll understand. Hey, don't you girls hear that? <laughs> it sure was easy as taking candy from an infant. Literally. <laughs> it looks like Giganta is up to her old tricks again. And it's up to the six of us to put a stop to her treacherous behavior before it gets worse. Or perhaps you can leave it to me. Huh? Zatanna, what are you implying? 
Actually, my point is, I have a plan to scare Giganta into never stealing candy from children again. I mean, the last time we have scared a candy robber on Halloween, oh boy, did we give him the fright of his life. And surely we can try again with Giganta, right? Well, for your sake, I hope you're right. You again? And since when did an Amazon princess began her career as a magician? Since I began my journey to join a group full of heroes. Is this your idea of a crime spree? I mean, what are you, seven? Eight? You shouldn't be trashing this kind of stuff. I think it's time we have a talk. Now, as a DC superhero girl, it's up to me to convince you to return all of that Halloween candy to the children. And if you fail to hear my warning, it's this. See, Giganta, me and my candy-hungry zombies are tired of being pushed aside, we're tired of being deprived of any sweets, and especially tired of being picked on, made fun of, bullied, and heartbroken. So be sure that every year, all of those regretful things that you've done in the past will come back to haunt you. Yes, sirree, you cannot get yourself out of this one, me bucko. All of those regretful things that you've done in the past will come back to haunt your soul. Oh, and, uh, one more thing. Boo. <laughs> Do you think we might have taken this whole scary stuff just a little too far? Oh, what harm could it have done, girls? We just gave Giganta a good punishment for the rest of her life, that's all. But I think I have only one last trick up my sleeves. Well, anyway, those zombie hero girls are out of my life forever and ever. Hi, everybody. For the next 40 seconds, I'm going to teach you how to draw me. Now be sure to get some paper. I will stay perfectly still while you trace me. Careful with the arms, I'm ticklish. Now hold it right there. Why draw a little bunny rabbit when you should be drawing Queen Puffia? Actually, the audience was gonna draw me. No, they were gonna draw Queen Puffia. No, me. No, me. No, not you, me. No, me. Oh great, time's up. Thanks a lot. I am so ashamed. <laughs> Can you imagine an old fashioned swimming pool? How convenient. Why, Granny told me about these things, but I never thought I'd see one. Oh, you chicken-brained canary! This isn't a swimming pool! Then what is this, anyway? Actually, I thought we could play a little game of astronaut today. Ooh! I just love going into orbit! Sure you do! Now, 
in order to get to space, all you gotta do is climb into the pail like this. You see? Just in here like me. I see. And uh, this must be the ignition. Well, in that case, prepare for takeoff. Mother. You know, folks, I've tackled more kitty cats that way. Seventy hours. 